What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to find the largest number in a list using Python. Um, for our setup, we have this list right here. As you can see, the largest number is 33. And I'm gonna show you three different methods that you can use to find um, the largest number. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So the first method that I wanna show, um, and this is a method I call more of the naive approach um, because a lot of beginners, when they start out, they learn about loops. And that's actually what we're gonna use right here. Um, and they learn how to iterate through, say, a list with a loop and then do stuff with that. And that's essentially what we're doing. So using a loop to find the largest number, which we know is 33, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say largest is equal to, um, and I'm actually just gonna say the cur list. Um, I can make this some, you know, super small number or super large number, to, or I probably wanna do super small number to find a value. But if I just say, hey, set this to the first index. If this first index is the largest, um, I'm gonna loop through and verify that. Otherwise, I'm still gonna loop through and find it, right? Then what we can do is I can say for num in cur list, if num is larger than cur list, then, or excuse me, is larger than largest, then we're gonna set the largest equal to the num. Now, if I print this out, print method, oops, method number one, largest, you shall see that there's our list. And then method number one produces the largest value of 33. So there we have it. There's method number one and how you can find um, the largest value in a list. Now let's talk about a trick that you can use to essentially um, use based off list that you can use to find um, that largest value as well. So this second method involves knowing a trick about lists. And that trick is essentially that we can sort them and do stuff with that. And if we could sort them, that also means that'll give us basically a value from the smallest all the way up to the largest, right? And so that's that's what I'm going to say here is using sorting and I can just essentially say that sorted um, list is equal to sorted and then we pass in that iterable um, or that list value so that that way you can go through and uh, sort it and now if I just say just to give us sanity check right it's always good to do sanity checks I can say sorted and then I can just say sorted list sorted. There now if I run this, we won't have our value yet. We'll have method one equals 33. Then we'll have our sorted value. You can see it's zero, one, all the way up to 33 in, or in numerical order. Not out of but with this knowledge here, this shows us that the very, the, dar the largest number, the largest value in this list is at the last index. So basically this trick shows us that I can say, um, grab this, let's grab that, print that out there. We'll do this. Largest two is equal to sorted list at the very last index, right? So if you if you know the, the length of the list, you can just put that here, but it's always nice, like if you do this syntax, dash or negative one brackets, that basically tells you, give me the last, give me the last uh, value or last index in that list. So this will give us the value of, of 33. So if we run this, it should be the same as method number one. So we now have method number one gives us 33 and method number two gives us 33. So now let's show you the super simple built-in Python function that given a list will give you the smallest value. Um, the one that probably a lot of people will, would prefer. But again, this is, we're just marching down that kind of like gaining understanding of what what things and what tricks you can do. So let's show that uh, method number three now. So the final uh, function or method that I wanna show you uh, that you can use to find the largest value is our method number three, which is basically using Python's built-in max function, right? So if I just run, so largest three is equal to max of our cur list, this right here will produce um, in one line, will produce our value. Now, if I run this, you can see that right there, boom, method one, two, and three all produce the values of 33. And that's just because this is a built-in Python function that takes in a list and basically kind of probably under the hood and probably a little bit faster maybe um, does something similar to this loop function, right? Um, and then over time, they've made it a built-in that everyone can just use, say, given an iterable, like a list, it'll produce that value. Now, if we want it up here, we could also, for method number two, we could turn that into a one-line function by just taking this and putting it at the end of that and removing that line. Um, that that would be the same thing. But essentially, these are the three different methods that you can use. Um, again, like I mentioned, this is walking through that learning progression of like, hey, I started out in the beginning. I learned about loops. I learned about comparisons. And then moving to, oh, I know about, I've learned about lists. I know some of the things and tricks that you can do with the list. Like if I sort it, what's at the, what's at the back and what's at the front, right? Or yeah, what's at the beginning, what's at the end? Um, and then the max one, which is like, hey, after learning more about documentation, boom, or Python functions and docu their documentation, they've said that, hey, there's this built-in function called max that gives us that value. So I hope this has provided value. If it has, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments down below. And until next time, keep on programming.